here from Hurricane Electric with your IPv6 update number 37. Today we're going to be talking about two things, what the end days of IPv4 will look like and the thing that should really be driving your IPv6 transition above and beyond IPv4 depletion. You probably already know that the IANA gave out 4 slash 8 allocations of IPv4 address space last week. There are 7 slash 8s remaining. As soon as there are only 5 left, each RIR will get 1. At that point, all of the slash 8 blocks will have one of two statuses, either allocated, meaning given out to an RIR, or legacy, meaning that the address blocks were already given out to an end user organization back in the day, like the class A blocks that Apple, IBM, HP, and MIT got. The regional internet registries will then have enough IPv4 space for a couple of months. The first to run out will probably be APNIC, given the growth of mobile devices in Asia. Eventually, the RIRs won't have enough space to give out huge assignments to the largest ISPs, though they'll be able to satisfy the smaller ISPs for a little while. What makes this drama rather anticlimactic is that this is the same yarn that networking pundits have been spinning for years, the end of IPv4. However, regardless of how long your organization can limp by on its supply of IPv4 addresses, the fact remains that there are better, more business-minded reasons to switch to IPv6. History has shown that companies that stay relevant and competitive win the race. Technology that advances the flow of real-time information is critical to almost every organization, company, and government. IPv6 will help you do that. Computer World UK recently published a few examples of what companies can expect when they hop on the IPv6 bandwagon. Number one, a new set of customers. Soon there will be a huge untapped customer base connecting with IPv6 only devices. Yours could be the company that reaches them first. Number two, a new revenue stream from new services. As companies move to a more personalized experience for consumers, applications will have to go beyond NAT to be flexible and end to end. Your IPv6 transition will enable you to do that. And number three on Computer World UK's list of things companies can expect from switching to IPv6 is an increasingly dynamic exchange of information between vendors, employees, and customers. SIP-based communications applications like Voice over IP and Virtual Room Video Conferencing Systems, or VRVS, will help your employees directly interface and support customers. The earlier you make the transition to IPv6, the more time you'll have to hone your company's edge over the competition.